All right, it says that I'm live. Uh, just a very quick show, nothing too long or anything like that. I noticed at the end of my stream, uh, there was a very subtle serpent that entered in as I was shutting down my uh, stream there. Right at the end, as it was shutting down, Ben made a comment. Ben from the UK. Uh, I think his name is uh, Reflect Upon God's Word Now or something like that. I don't know exactly what it was called, but Brother Phil was right. This guy's very subtle, very serpentish. And I caught him and I got to block him. He wasn't commenting on any of my streams as of late, so I never got the chance to block him. But this time I did. Right at the tail end of the stream, as it was shutting down, his comment popped up. And it wasn't a good comment either. It was very wicked comment. And it's just exactly like Shepherd, uh, Brother Tony said, Shepherd, the Shepherd's ambassador. You can talk to this guy, he emails you, and he agrees with everything that you say, and you watch his video, 100% different than what he actually emailed you. Well, I agree with you, I agree with you, I agree with you. Now, if you want to talk Jesuit or Mason-like tactics or Illuminati-like tactics, that's Ben in the UK. 100%. And lo and behold, just like all the serpents, they retreat back to their old serpentine friends. He is yoked up with John Craven. They love to come into your channels. They love to come waltzing in on your live streams. Act and play the part. Well, I don't agree with Brian Denlinger. I think Brian Denlinger is wrong. And then they sneak into your thing, and then they try to get you to like them again. And Phil is always 100% right. Phil, Nick, and whoever else was going after Ben from the UK, 100% right about this guy. He's nothing but a snake. So just a warning to all the other brothers and sisters out there, if you're going to be doing a live stream or anything like that or make videos, watch out for Ben. Ben is there. Just like the subtle serpent that he is, he is there. And watch out. Right at the end of your live streams, he may leave a comment. Just block the guy. you know these people are there they're watching and they're waiting for your broadcast to end so that they can sneak in a comment that's right at the end if you don't catch it that's exactly what ben did to me so brother phil i'm i 100 agree with you this guy is snake-like shepherd's ambassador you are 100 right on on this ben he is snake-like He's a forked tongue devil. That's what he is. He speaks out of two sides of his mouth. He really does. And it's amazing. Like just stay away. If you don't agree with us, stay away. If you have some legitimate comment, go ahead, leave a comment. I don't care. But if you're just going to email me, or something like that, and just say, oh, uh, yeah, I disagree with Brian Denlinger. You're right. I agree with you. I, I see it now. And the same thing that Tony has been, been going through with this Ben from the UK. I just didn't know who, really who he was. Same thing with Ben that Shepherd's Ambassador has been going through with him. I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, and then, lo and behold, he's making videos. He's a fork tongue. That, that's what he is. He's a fork-tongued devil. 
He's a subtle serpent. He is the typical Jesuit, typical Mason, typical Illuminati, or any secret society members creep in. They creep in unawares, thinking that you don't know them and that they try to be just like you. I think Edward was also warned about him. Keep an eye out for this guy. I I never know when <laughs> I, I did it at the beginning because I like when I first did live streams, I didn't know who this Ben was. They were assuming this one like uh, Phil and Nick. They were assuming this one guy was Ben. I had no idea. I didn't know who Ben was from a hole in the head. I had not a clue who he was. But they've been right every single time. I'm I'm not going to doubt Brother Phil or Sister Nick or anybody. If they're going to say that's that's Ben from the UK, I, I then I will know that is Ben from the UK. They have studied this guy's movements. But that's a legitimate cause to call somebody a Mason or a Jesuit. That's a legitimate cause for it. Because if you got to come in subtly with multiple different accounts so that nobody knows who you are, that's serpent like. Tactics. Very deceptive people. And I will be blocking John Craven just as well. He's basically a useful idiot for Tim and the Denlinger rights. You know, just a, a talking point paired for them, just regurgitating the same old uh, Old Testament scriptures for works-based salvation in the Old Testament, which you can refute by saying, well, that's actually to stay in the land, uh, and so on. And he gives these stupid, impossible scenarios that the Bible doesn't afford. And you're supposed to somehow answer that? When the Bible doesn't say that, it actually affords you that answer. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that, the, the, the deceptive way of Calvinism and how they phrase things. Frank and Bob... They both hear the gospel. Bob believes, but Frank doesn't. Why? Well, you're you're asking for a determinant answer, something that's been predetermined. The question in itself is, why did Frank or Bob not believe and not believe? Why? Why is that? Well, that's that's already making that you have to have a determinant answer. Well, nothing was determined. They had a choice to make. There was two choices. That that's what that's what choices are. A choice isn't that you had no that there's only one and not, none other. That's not that's not a choice. A choice is available between two different two options. If one guy was predestined to be uh, damned. To hell, he has no choice. There is no two options. Even though he was told the gospel, he has no second option. He's only got one. And if the other guy is predestined to go to heaven, he's got no option except for one. He has to believe. And this person cannot believe. He has to not believe. There's no available options. So it's a determinate answer. You're, you're determined to give a determinate answer. Whereas the Bible doesn't afford that, it says, humble yourself, choose you this day, believe and thou shalt be saved. It gives you choices. All who come to me, I will no wise cast out. So you have a choice to come to him or not. So this Ben guy from the UK, this is where I'm probably going to end it. Uh, I didn't want this to be too terribly long. Watch out for this Ben guy. Uh, reflect upon God's word or whatever he changed his name to now. Reflect upon the Lord's word. Reflect upon the Lord. I don't know what his name was. But just watch out for that channel. The second you see him, block him. He's, he's, uh, he's a tool. That's, that's what he is. He's a tool. He's like John Craven. He's nothing but a tool. A mouthpiece for the Denlinger group.
and for Tim Connell. You know, the, what I noticed about John Craig is he he just you know he he's like a lost puppy, and whoever will put a you know put the leash on him, that's who he's gonna follow. <laughs> whoever will just you know attach the leash to him, he he'll drag along with him already. That guy is so double-minded. Billy really Ben is so double-tongued. You got no use for these people. These people are absolutely useless and cannot be taught. Not willing. They can be taught, but they're not willing to be taught. They're not willing to accept the answer that you give them. Oh, thank you very much, dear Dylan. <laughs> but yes, I caught I caught the serpent, and I got to block him this time. Very, very subtle how he did it, but I got to do it. He did it right at the end of my stream, where I was. I basically had typed in end of end broadcast, and it was buffering to end, and then his his uh, comment uh, popped up. So I got to catch that little serpent. He's not subtle for me. <laughs> it's amazing with these people. It's just absolutely astonishing that they think they're clever, but they're not. They might be able to fool themselves, but they're not fooling anybody else. Well, another thing I was going to say fresh in my mind I was watching some critical mass video and he was talking about max max was plagiarizing his stuff and it was uh I figured, okay well I got to see this you know if max was actually plagiarizing his stuff well it ended up being that uh critical mass had left a comment about a ship you know setting your sights towards a mark and then you know a ship going to setting a sail if it's a little bit off you're gonna you know by even a small degree at the end result, it's going to, you're going to be way off, right? And that was his example. Well, I look, okay, and then he figures Max plagiarized that. So I figure I'll watch Max's video. And he wasn't using the ship. And it, not just because Max made a video about it. The thing is, is this isn't something new. This analogy, even of the ship, it, it's nothing new. I've heard that analogy before of a ship sailing, and if it's a little bit off, it mixes the mark. I've even heard that analogy before. If I could ever find the video again, it was years ago that I heard that analogy. I have even used, at the very beginning, or somewhat very beginning of my uh, channel here, where I used the, where I used the analogy of, uh, well, because I was hunting at the time, I used the analogy of a scope. A gun and a scope and you got tiny little dials and if those dials are not set in exactly right where those those crosshairs are not set at exactly where you're supposed to be shooting at the end result of that bullet you're going to be way off at 100 yards you're not going to be off that far but at 200 yards you're getting quite a ways off at 300 you're basically missing the entire target it's not a new phenomenon <laughs> It's not a new analogy. It's in the scriptures. If anybody's ever come across the scriptures, there's the analogy. You can use whatever analogy you want. You could use a bow and arrow, a crossbow. You could use a sling with a rock. Set your eyes on the target with the sling. And if you're not dead on, it's not, you know, whatever the case is. You can even do it for golfing. Keep your eye on the ball. If you don't keep your eye on the ball, you're going to hit the ball and it's going to go way off. You've got to keep your eye on the ball. These kinds of analogies are a dime a dozen. Max had a really good analogy with woodworking. And then it shows you the ups and downs of a Christian life. So it's plagiarizing, really?
anybody that asks you questions about what what does eternal salvation mean? Like how does this work? Like sinning while you're saved and you don't lose your salvation? How does this how does this work? Somebody asked Max that. Somebody wanted to know. Or maybe Max ran into a, a few times where somebody had this like how does it work that a, a, a saved man can sin and not lose his salvation? How how does this work? That was the analogy that that uh, Max was showing. Anybody that does uh, online videos, Christian online videos, they're going to be asked that question. How does this work? <laughs> hey, welcome here, uh, Brother Jason and Brother Jack. Welcome here. But I don't know how long. <laughs> How's it going, Frank, my fellow Jesuit? Oh, well, I'm still working on being initiated. Uh, maybe then I'll start getting paid. <laughs> And then I can maybe get like another, well, uh, Brother Jason was saying you need a separate computer so that you can have your own and your kids can use this one. Definitely. I, I think that's what my next uh, goal is, is to save up money to actually buy a separate computer so that this one's not being bombarded. She's got a whole bunch of uh, tags on the, on the bar on the top here, and I can't delete any of them because she needs them all. And I'm guessing because of passwords, and she doesn't remember her passwords, so she leaves them up and open uh so it, it's uh you know it's something i need to do yet and uh hopefully i can one day uh it'll be a little while you know uh well getting a little bit of extra work on the side it can it can help a little bit so yeah uh brother jason i can let you in it'll have to be for a very short little while because i am about to head around out didn't want this video to be too terribly long so i'll just Get ready. All right, I'll invite you. There you go. Yeah, if it can be just for a very little while, that'd be great. Uh, I need to head around out. I just figured I want to quickly make sure I've got this video done. I caught the snake, Ben, from the UK. I caught him, and uh, he is basically blocked from my channel. He, I don't think, uh, at least I, I think I blocked him. I, I, I clicked block, so I don't know if it just happens for that one stream or if it's permanent, but I did block him, and uh, he will remain that way. He's, uh, oh yeah, the next Lodge meeting, uh, hopefully it's sometime soon. Uh, my initiation is going to be a blast. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to be asking for pay, uh, cause this is, uh, this is not easy. <laughs> See if Jason pops up here. So yeah, uh, while we're waiting uh, for Jason to pop up, just again, beware of Ben. Uh, reflect upon the word or whatever his name is or whatever he's changed to, changed it to now. Beware of him. He's a snake. He's a serpent. He's a forked tongue devil. That's pretty much all that he is. Uh, double-minded, unstable in all his ways, just like John Craven and the rest of that group. Can't seem to make up their minds as to as to what's true and what's not. They're all over the place. So here's Brother hi. Jason. Hi, mate. Um, uh, when when the 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 uh, live chat block. Uh, when I block someone on live chat on someone else's live stream, that's a Google block, right? And that means you can't see their comments or or, or anything on any anywhere on your, your YouTube. But if you you block them f on YouTube block, uh, you can see their comments, but they can't comment on, on your channel. Awesome. That, well, that's pretty much all I want to do. Is just make sure that guy couldn't comment on my channel anymore. Uh, and same yep. with, you know, if I run into 
uh, John Craig, I'm going to be doing the same thing. The guy is nothing but a useful idiot that uh, can't seem to make up his mind on anything. So, yep, and 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 also, also you you uh you uh, you are uh preaching the truth. You are about the truth. Because I agree w w with you on doctrine, and 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 just because someone's video is such and such minutes and thirty three seconds, it doesn't mean a thing. No, it doesn't. Yeah, people are looking too much into that kind of stuff. I mean, there's yep. sometimes it's legitimate. You want to be concerned and and critical, like what, what's going on, right? But yep. at some time, you just got to say, well, it's just a number. A, to yep. a Christian, this is just a number. You don't have to worry about, uh, is your video going to end on a three or a 33? Or is there going to be two threes in my videos? No, I'm not concerned about that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm saved by the... I'm, Saved, bought by the blood of Jesus Christ, death, burial, resurrection on the cross. I am yep. good to go. I couldn't care less about numbers. Yep. And 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 okay, there, there are government agents, but not everyone is a government agent. Exactly. Yeah. Just be cautious. You can't just toss around those kinds of things. Uh, yep. Every everybody's just going to be paranoid then. Then nobody trusts anybody at some point in time. So just uh, be cautious yep. with how you toss around those kinds of words and who you're going to claim as a Jesuit, a Mason, or a, yep. um, a government Do agent. you speak to Bob sometimes still? Uh, yeah, we email back and forth every once in a while. Not very much because I was busy lately, so I hadn't done very much with anybody actually. So, Right. But uh, a little bit here and there, yeah. You tell him I said hi. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll let him know that you said hi. Hey, welcome here, Jack. Oh, hi, Jack. He he's he's muted. He's got his mic. Uh, oh yeah, he's muted. If he unmutes his mic, otherwise we can't hear. How's it going, guys? Hi. Oh. Hi. Yeah, doing Can very you? well. How about yourself? Fantastic, man. Much better. Good to awesome. finally speak to you guys. Yeah, you, you never come on, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just one of those things, man. I kind of, you know, want to be the lay person and just kick back and take it in. Yeah. Well, yeah, totally understandable, and you don't have to. I mean, it's just, just by choice, you know. If you want to sit in a sure. chat, by all means, it's not a big deal, right? But, yeah, yeah it's so uh, are you going to come to my initiation, or? <laughs> <laughs> well, since I've already had mine, who do you think is actually going to present that to you? It's going to be me and Max. Come on, man. Oh, yes, yes. That would be awesome if you guys could initiate me. <laughs> Jason, would you be there? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm here. Um, now, what, what I wanted to say is um, if your daughter, uh, uh, Frank, uh, has all the passwords, everything, uh, the Google re re remembers like on Firefox. That's what what I have. Um, uh, that is good uh, for, for for her. And when you you save up in your co computer, uh, that's easier f f for you and her. Yeah. And see, that's the thing. I know next to nothing about computers, so I don't know how to deal with this kind of stuff. My best bet is just to get another computer and <laughs> let her have this one. Yep, yep. Remember, Frank, YouTube is your friend. Always watch the videos whenever you need a tutorial. Oh, yeah. I, guess, yeah I can do that. Yeah, yeah Jason's yeah. right. That's exactly what I use, and it actually keeps your passwords, and it keeps it encrypted, so you have no worries. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, yeah. Uh, for me, I even have trouble uh, uh, figuring out how to hook up a printer. <laughs> I got you. I tried well, that. It was a I tried okay. to sum up the disaster. It was just a complete mess. <clears throat> well, look, guys, I'm sorry about my voice. I just got through with surgery, and uh, everything's okay, but uh, I'm struggling with my voice for right now. I'm trying to get it back. So I'm going to hop off here and let you guys continue, but it's been a pleasure. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah thanks for joining, and, yeah, you sound great. Uh, so hopefully everything works Bye, out great Jack. for you. And... Well, God bless you guys. We'll see you yeah. next time. You bet. See ya. All right, take care. We'll see you, Jason. Okay, bye. And bye. and and see, uh, Frank. Even if uh, Eddie, if he wanted to, like when he uploads, right? Instead of doing an upload, if he signed up to Streamyard, 
he could just do a live stream on his channel like this and he doesn't have to wait for the upload it it automatically goes on to, to his channel from StreamYard like and if he knew how to do that then uh, okay um uh, after a certain amount of hours of, of, of processes um yeah that, that might be easier and people can talk to uh um him on live chat he can cover issues is, is whatever he's covering whether it's breaker or anyone else brian danlinger etc etc yeah. yeah that's why i do it because uh hey welcome here brother james that's, yeah, that's why i do it like my internet is really slow and uh so stream yard is the best way for me to go otherwise my uploads would be taking all day long and probably yeah, to the next day so. Yeah, what I want to say is that my, my computer, my new computer that I'm using from my dad, it's kind of slow. So yeah, just bear with me. And um, to um, the thing is, uh, I'm just gonna like be reading some stuff from my biology class while I just like just fellowship with y'all or whatever. So yeah, just <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I, yeah. But like I said, I can't stay long. Like I pretty much want to shut down now. Sure, uh, sure. So like, if it works out, uh, I'll try to get on here tomorrow. I don't know what time does it usually work for you, James. Like. That it would be i'm on the same time zone as you frank because i know you're like like what central time zone something like that yeah central yeah hey but honestly frank it, it's been a good time talk good time talking to you for like because i haven't streamed with you in like a while right it's a good time talking with you bro oh yeah like it's uh things have been just a little bit more hectic lately and uh by the sounds of it you know you do one you spray one kitchen for somebody and so then they go home they they install it all right because it's not a brand new kitchen it's just refurbished right like i just uh painted over what what was there and people liked it so much now more people want that so it just gets more hectic <laughs> which is a very good way to make money if you wanted to offer that kind of a a service in your area if you know how to do this kind of stuff like you can you can make some pretty good coin off of that i see but, to be honest, I do like I do plan on living off grid someday. Maybe I don't know. Oh yeah, and if that's something that you want, uh, yeah, like I've often even thought about too. Like, well, not so much off grid, but just more away, you know. And like I live in a relatively small village, uh, but Let's it's see. just outside of a town. But I like to actually kind of move further away, and in an even smaller town. So, but I don't know. That's just me. Uh, and plus, I like to be closer to lakes and rivers to go fishing. Hey, I live uh, I live by a lake. Oh yeah? Yeah. Nice. No, so wait, I'm, I'm just wondering, what is this video about? Is this like a hangout video or what? No, this is just, I want to show, like in my last stream, uh, right at the end, this guy from Ben, this guy Ben from the UK, he came and made a comment as I was shutting down, then I caught it. And he was basically dissing everybody in the chat room. Good so grief. I just basically blocked him and I just want to let him know I caught the guy because this guy's very subtle. Everybody's been talking about him and I figured, oh, he hasn't really done me nothing, but I was going to block him next time I saw him because he's, he causes nothing but trouble. Hey, dude, he, guess he what? Knows, like he knows you, he agrees with you, he does all this stuff and all of a sudden he's making videos totally against what you said. And it's like, okay, you're just a fork tongue devil. Like you haven't, <laughs> you know... You're a double-minded man who's unstable in all those ways, or you're a Jesuit. And, and he supports the uh, in in uh, KJV, which is a false uh, Bible. Yeah. Yep, and uh, Frank. So yeah, I like that mindset where you know where you're sick of for your brothers and sisters in Christ. I like that mindset because guess what? And guess what's continuing, Frank? Yeah. Oh man. So you know how my sister said. You look like a white supremacist, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because therefore I stuck, you know, I, met, I argued with her, you know, standing up for you. And then, but guess what? And I told my dad about your videos, right? And then he said, it sounds like white supremacy. You see, I don't know why it's continuing on with my family. I don't know what's up. Like, I don't know why they're demonizing my brethren in the Lord. They never even, like, they never even heard one, like, um, with a, one word out of your mouth. Like, what? I don't know what's going on, man. 
you know, it's just the mindset of today. This is what you're going to get. Uh, it doesn't matter what you actually believe, what's in your, what's in the person's heart, or anything like that. Uh, it, it's what's being indoctrinated, what's being pushed, right? Uh, white people bad. It's this unconscious bias that you don't even know that you're racist. You don't even know any of it. Like you, even though you think you're not racist, you've never done anything racist here. We're racist from the life. race of Adam and Eve. Yep, amen, yeah, Jason. Yeah. Amen. Right, yeah. that's with the and it, uh, so so it doesn't matter what skin color we're still one race. That's what that's what we go by. What the Bible says. I yeah. see. You. Amen, Jason. And and, and 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 Marxism and socialism is, is from Satan. Yep. Yeah. And because Frank, the thing is, I want to stick up for my brethren and sisters in the Lord. That's why you know. That's why yeah, yeah. I argue against my family. That's why, bro. Well, you know, and sometimes it's just a lost cause. You, you can't reason with certain people, right? Like they've got their mindset. They've been indoctrinated. Uh, talk to them as much as you can. Like that that's what I do pretty much. Like talk to people as much as I possibly can without getting them mad or anything like that. Maybe then they'll see, right? They'll, they'll yep. start to be persuaded. But uh, mm -hmm. sometimes they're just, they, they've been told there's like white people bad, everybody bad. Everybody that's white is just bad no matter what. And you really can't change their mind. That is racism. They are yeah, from, from them, yeah. from because because uh, uh, what they their goal is get rid of white supremacy and have black su supremacy. It's the same thing. It's racism. All yeah. the supremacy is wrong. Yeah. And, well, well, like if you look at today, uh, yeah. Asians are being attacked enormously. And it's by blacks and Muslims that are the, primarily the ones targeting the Asian group. This is what is actually out there right now. You know, uh, if you watch some Ben Shapiro or uh, some some of those people, I think even Stephen Crowder talks about it, and a few others, they look at at the statistics. Over eighty five percent are black men targeting Asians. And do to be saw this. I actually saw this one crime show. It was a and real they, crime show. They all need the Lord. That is the thing, right? Yeah. They all need the Lord, and Amen. and 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 the Democrats they don't care about black people, right? And that that's the way I I, I see it. And 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 uh, they only uh, care about their n narrative, uh, uh, blacks versus whites. When 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 I hear of of black people killing black pe people, uh, 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 and 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 it's every, every week over a hundred, I, I hear from uh, the different people places like Chicago they're killing uh, uh, bad. I, I don't know if that's tr tr true or not. In, in gangs, right? Those people need the Lord, right? Amen, Jason. And, no. And, and the Democrats, all they care about money for themselves, and 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 they want everyone in poor. That com communism is evil. Yep, exactly. You're right, Jason. Yeah. You know, oh, and, speak and what you know, what, And that's what the government is doing. They they're using all this to uh, push the communists, like uh, you know, giving up all rights and so on. Like it's just that's what the whole goal is. Uh, blacks and all different groups of minorities they're being just used to push an agenda they that's are that, that's pretty much and, all and also is. another uh, a plan of theirs to also bring in the new world order is this climate change garbage god yeah. the god of the bible c c controls our climate exactly. right yeah hey can i tell you my my take on this this stuff yeah sure Okay, so hold on, let me turn my volume real quick. Okay, so my take on this whole stop Asian hate is, like, as you probably know, Frank, I'm Asian, right? But yeah. the thing is, um, this whole stop Asian hate, I can just tell it's a like, total farce, okay? Because why is the media just like giving it so much attention? Why are all these bots in the Matrix just giving it so much attention? It's it's a farce, okay? Well, you know, in, in a sense, yes, but there are some really. Uh, I watched this crime show. I was going to say this before. I watched this crime show, and there was this uh, Asian family that was attacked. And basically, everybody—I think the father got killed. The rest of them actually lived, but the the father 
was killed and they stole a whole bunch of money. So what they did is they linked that crime to a bunch of crimes that were happening towards Asians because right. the description of these men were black. And they said, yes, typically blacks are targeting Asian businesses. That's that's uh, so they figured, oh, it must just have been uh, a typical uh Blacks going after Asian businesses and so on. And then they found like that that's where I actually figured it out. Like, oh, so this is very common for blacks to target Asians. And then, so now when you go and uh and then these kinds of crowd, these kinds of things are happening with the Asians, what you see is that uh they're blaming this on Trump because Trump said it was a Chinese virus. So yeah, they're yeah. blaming it on that. But it's not that. This has actually been going on well before that. And uh, uh, it, this is just a very common thing where blacks target Asians. It's and I've common. heard also some blacks have targeted Jews as well. Yeah. And, I, you know, I'm not saying this is a common thing. Well, like, this is, you know, all black people. That's not no. what no means what I'm saying. No. It's just some. Like, some. Yeah, some. If you want to if you wanna say, okay, whites are so bad well look at everything else there's good and bad in every skin color right yeah. and and every person has good and bad in them well we're, yeah. we're all sinners yeah. right yeah. Yeah. No, all you know, and 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 we're saved because of christ not you because of our sense. works it's faith yeah. and and yeah. and all our people for, for from all skin colors and 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 we're from one race and and evolution's a con, right? And and, and it's a lie for, 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 from Satan. And 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 it's saying that all different races, when 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 the Bible says one race, and and we're we're all created in in His image. You'll be right. And hey, Jason, can I tell you something? Because like about evolution, unfortunately, like right now in my biology class, we're learning about it. It's it's so dumb. I knew it yep. sometimes you can. It, that can actually benefit you because so many people have had to go through this kind of situation. Uh, a lot of people that I listen to online, they had to endure this, uh, you know, being taught evolution and so on. But it actually helped them because now you understand a lot of what's being taught and you can actually flip that around on them. Now, yep. that's, that's really beneficial to an argument. Like even when you argue with a Calvinist, give the Calvinist the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, give, give the Calvinist the benefit of the doubt. Okay, let's. I'll take your view on on this, and let's bring it to its logical conclusion. And then they have no other way out. I see. If you, can't the thing, argue, if you can't argue Calvinism if you don't know it. You're right. And, oh, dang! You're right, bro. Because the thing is, I'm trying to pass this class, and the thing is, you're actually, dude. You gave me a good motivation. A good motivation. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hey, man. Uh, yeah, take it. Whatever you can use, just take it and run with it, because. Uh, I see a lot of people doing that. They know okay, and they have studied yeah. evolution. So the, gotcha, the ones man. that can argue it the best are the ones that either were evolutionists or have been raised in a school that has taught this. Those are the ones that actually can argue it the best. I see, because I was yeah I was in public school and I I hated the influence. I hate the indoctrination. Wait, Frank, did you go to public school or private school or homeschool? Uh, public school. Okay, yeah, I went to public school. Jason, you. Um, at public schools in, in Australia. I see. Okay. So, you know, before I go, like, cause Frank, you said you want to shut it down a bit very soon, right? Yeah. So w something I finally learned, cause like, I just want to bring up the Bible. Cause you know, like you're my brother, you all two are my brothers in Christ is that I just learned how to rightly divide. Cause guess what? Like, you know, like for Christians, like to these days, you got to learn to know like which scripture is written to who. Cause like, some scriptures they may be written to Jews. Some scriptures they may may be written to um to Christians. You know what I mean? Like I've been being able to like learn it now, to be honest, and I, I like it a lot. Yeah, like the more you read, the more you can learn, and even just learning from other people just as well, it's beneficial. Like you need to have more input so to confirm what you believe, right? Yep. So yeah, study. Just keep studying and reading, and definitely right, right divide. Uh, it, it, you can some people can take it too far where they make very strict distinctions but in like in all cases it's not that strict you know like when it's talking about jews and stuff like that yeah it's talking about the land 
in a lot of cases. So we have to understand what's all this stuff about, and then uh, you know, future ones. Uh, yeah, what's, see. what's there for the shoes and stuff? So. I see, because yeah, um, the thing is, when I was first got saved, I was listening to listening to a lot of you know non dispensational teachers. But then you know, like until like I came across y'all and some others, and like you know, I'm even gonna give some credit to Brian. Yes, even Brian, like you know, they taught me how to like rightly divide. Because you know, like I don't mean like Brian's, you know, like what he believes, but in terms of, like you, just, you gotta know which scriptures like read to who. And, yeah, like that's the thing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, Brian's not wrong on everything. That's why you don't argue with him on everything. He's right on some things. Yep. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, even Catholics are, you know, are right about some things. A broken clock is right twice a day. You know, yeah. It doesn't work, but it's going to be 9 o'clock two times a day. <laughs> yep, because the thing is, I don't, I don't hate Brian at all, period. I, I just yeah. don't like his heresies. That's it. And his cult-like behavior. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, uh, Frank, be, before we close up, um, can can you one day do the video uh, showing Ed how to prepare his channel for for um, um, live streaming, enabling it, and it, it, that process takes twenty four hours, and plus to sign up onto uh, Streamyard, and 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 if he was he can go live at any time that suits him. He can do the videos like he does and screen share if he wants and cover Breaker or whoever he wants to c cover. Yeah. And 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 uh, he just streams it and it's there. It's on his ch channel. He doesn't have to worry about time for uploads. Yeah, because that drains the internet. Uploads drains the internet. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. If I uh, if I can remember how to do it, then I'll definitely let them know. It's actually quite basic. Uh, enter your email address. They'll send you a code, and yep. you can set it up from there. It's very simple, but uh, I can try. <laughs> and connect, then connect you uh, anyway. There's also I can do some. I can show some videos. I, I can uh, uh, YouTube search it, and I can email Ed. Right. Yeah. Then, then he doesn't have to worry about uploading it. He can do his video on StreamYard as long as he, he uh, I can show him how StreamYard works, right? And the uh, and so so getting his channel ready for for um, uh, live streams and that pro enabling it, and and then and then twenty four hours uh, later he can do live streams. And 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 also setting up his channel for for, for from Streamyard connecting that to your YouTube channel. See? Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, yeah. Frank, Jason, I'm gonna go now. It was great talking to you all, and God bless. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll definitely yep. have to do this again, James. Yep. yep. I might join yep. you all another time, but I've been busy lately, and it's something if y'all could pray for us, like if y'all could pray for my wrist because I injured it playing football, like. Of two months ago, I think. Yeah, it's. I, I just want to get back to the basketball court, you know, consistently. That's the thing. Y'all can break my wrist. You bet. Definitely. I will, uh, hello, I will Ed. On live chat. H hello, Ed. Um, hey. Ed, we'll show you how to do live streams and don't bother about uploads. Just live stream and go straight on your channel. You, you do whatever you, anytime. Just live stream. You you don't have to schedule it, and and, and yeah, and then it's easier. It's there, done. Yeah, yeah. Welcome here, brother Phil and brother Ed. Uh, yeah, I just figured I the, the title of the video is I caught the serpent and blocked him, which is uh, yep. Ben. Ben from the UK. He made a comment at the very end. I caught it, and it was actually a very wicked comment. Uh, so I just figured, you know. Book of Relief has been talking about this guy and how deceptive he is, and same with uh, Brother Tony, uh, and how deceptive this guy is, and I finally caught him, and I got to block him this time. So uh, we're I'm pretty much done with him. Uh, a good warning to the brothers and sisters out there. Stay away from that guy. He's a double-minded. He's, uh, he's not trustworthy. So I'll quickly add this guy in. I'm going to be shutting off very soon. So, well, you're back, Jack. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, he he muted, unmuted now. Yep. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to this setup myself, guys. Oh yeah, that's no problem. Yeah, I just wanted to say one other thing, man. Um, there's been a lot of division within the community. Brother Ed's covered a lot of those issues. Yep. And I tell you, it's uh, Satan has got people right where he wants them, and it's oh, a sad, it's very sad. I mean, it really is. It's actually drove me away to a point. Uh, just here recently, I've got back into scripture, and it's like you know, it comes down to discernment. And again, like Brother Ed said before in a recent video it comes down to god's word and our walk with that word you know we all fall short but it's grace through faith it took yep. me several years to learn that you know and for that i do know there's a lot of things about scripture i do not understand and i think at the end of the day we can all agree on that oh, yep the godhead whatever the issue is christology you know we can go on and on with it I've spent 10 years diligently trying to study these things. And if I've ever come to one certain conclusion, it's grace through faith. He paid it all. It's about his shed blood and that's it. Yep. Amen. And I see that brother Ed is in the uh, chat. I just want to say brother Ed, God bless you. I love you. I've learned a lot from you. I've heard you're doing great. And I say amen to that. And guys, my voice is uh, <laughs> cracking up on me again. I've got, I've got to let and, it heal up. God bless all of you guys. So, got, so, well, what I wanted to say is, Jack, why don't you, you when you, you can, do you, uh, the live streams as well on, on your channel? Because I'm from Alabama and I sound like a country hick. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. I don't care. It, it, it's all good. Oh, but, I'm just kidding, Jason. Yep. Yeah, I, actually, so, I'm a good speaker. Listening. Well, I'm a decent yeah. speaker in person you know but as far as this platform i've never done it i'm just not that used to it i'm actually i don't know what i'm doing but you know what that's something that's been on my mind for the past couple of years me and max have discussed this at great length and he's kind of you know pushed me to do that as well and i may just do that i don't really know what the topics are going to be odd, do an odd video right whatever just cover whether people go and live chat or not doesn't matter um and and the more you you, you do it the more comfortable the, the the easier it is yeah that's true jason that's true oh, repetition yeah. Yeah, like oh, it have to be oh, i'm gonna email you ed in yeah. in a short while about well, the live streaming it's easier and then it saves him uploading time if he's just on StreamYard like this, it's straight onto his YouTube. He doesn't have to worry about um, the time of uploading, whether it takes him hours to upload. He doesn't need to w w w worry about that. Oh, I didn't See? even realize that. That's great. See, uh, it depends on his system. See, uh, um, maybe, maybe my uploads might take half an hour or, or, or sometimes less pending how 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 long the video is or what size of the file is. leave it up to brother jason he's our local tech guy yeah um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm basic but people like um dave my, my, my friend from france he's a whiz he's a whiz oh okay that's great yeah yeah i, I get him to help me sometimes he logs on to to my computer see I, i'm basic on on this i don't know you sound pretty smart about it to me Jason. sure sure but in in building computers uh like like andrew dave did all that he, he's a whiz i can tell you hear that <laughs> i hear you well yep. i'm from canada so i'm a little late on the learning <laughs> Yep. That's okay, man. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Yep. No doubt, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, guys, I've got an off-world activation. Stargate program needs me. i got to roll. All right. Okay. Cool. Right. cool. I'm, I'm going to head around O2. So thanks again for joining, Jack, and uh, Brother Ed for joining in as well. Bye, everyone. Bye. Nick. God bless yeah. you guys. Yeah. Take God bless you guys as well. Bye, Ed. Bye. But yeah, it's always nice to see uh, Brother Ed is uh, feeling better. Definitely a lot of prayers.
from all the brothers and sisters in Christ that were praying for him. So he had a lot of that, a lot of help in that area. So it's nice to see he's back on. He's making some good videos and some nice long ones. I always enjoy those. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for joining in. Beware of Ben. Uh, whatever he goes by now, reflect upon God's word or reflect upon the Lord or whatever he does. Stay away from that guy. Uh, if he emails you and says, yes, you convinced me, uh, just know he's lying. He's a fork tongue devil. That's all that he is. He speaks from both sides of his mouth. Uh, he caters to both sides, whatever, you know, whatever the flavor of the day is, that's going to go with. And uh, yeah, just stay away from him. So it's a little bit of a warning. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks, Jason, for joining in. Yep. And, thank you. Uh, Bye. We'll Bye. And we'll talk to you guys uh, next time. God bless. And goodbye. Yep. Yep. Great.